Hi guys, I'm uh, in the process of reclaiming some of my slip and thought I'd do a quick video showing you guys the process of how I do that and how I go about measuring my specific gravity, making sure I have a good consistent slip all the time. So you're going to want to take your dried, you know, uh, pieces of slip, break them up into small chunks, put them in your bucket, and then you just fill it up. And I don't even cover the uh, pieces completely, maybe just halfway. What you're going to want to do is uh, get them wet enough to where it absorbs the water, but it's not going to become fluid at all. It's going to be a really, really thick uh, pudding and then take a stick or whatever you have to kind of smash that up and mix it up uh, because if you add too much water, it, it's really easy to add too much water um, because as slip dries out, you're not only missing, uh, losing all the water, but it also kind of loses all of its deflocculates. So uh, as you put in a bit of water and mix that up into a really thick putty, you're not going to be able to use a drill or anything to blend it at first. And what you're going to want to do is dilute in water, 50-50 mix of sodium silicate and soda ash. And then you're going to want to pull that in just drop by drop, very slowly. Keep mixing and pretty soon it should get to the point to where it's a super, super thick pudding. But uh, Thick, uh, thin enough that you can start mixing it and you slowly want to add in drop by drop more until you're able to kind of pull a vortex or at least get it thin enough that you can pull it out and you're going to want to measure that because the only really way to know what's going on with your slip um, is to measure the specific gravity and the viscosity. So right now we're going to focus on measuring the specific gravity. I went ahead and I've already added my sodium silicate water, mixed it up until I have a bit of fluidity here. And before you mix, you always want to put some energy into your slip by mixing it up before you kind of weigh it out and everything. quick mix there. Now what we're going to want to do, if you have a syringe that's great, you can um, either weigh a syringe and then write down what the weight of the empty syringe is, or if you're using a, um, a graduated cylinder or some kind of measuring cup, you can get by without weighing this and just zero it out on the scale and fill it up from there, which is what I'm going to do. here and uh, uh, one cc of water is one gram so 100 cc's is 100 grams uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're aiming for you want to fill either your syringe or your measuring cup or graduated cylinder up to about 100 and then you're going to take that and compare it to um, 100 compared to how much the slip weighs and what we're looking for is about 1.75, 1.8 the specific gravity. So that, that means if 100 cc's weighs of water weighs 100 grams, we're looking for the slip to weigh about 175 grams, 180 grams. My scale is only 200 grams and with the weight of the measuring cup, I'm not able to weigh out 100 grams. I do recommend to weigh out 100 or even 300, the bigger amount you're weighing out, the uh, more accurate it's going to be. Unfortunately, I'm working with what I have, so I'm going to fill it up to 50 and just double that up to give me, you know, the 100. So I'm turning this on, making sure that's taped out. Actually, first, I'm going to strain out some of the slip to go ahead and measure. Yeah. 
this. I'm going to redo this just so it doesn't turn off on me. Alright, so now I'm going to fill it up to the 50 cc's like I said. can and you might even want to do this you know 10 times especially if you're only measuring out like 50 cc's and you're not using a cylinder something that's really precise um, you might want to repeat it multiple times and then divide that by the amount of times that you've done it to get the average just to try to be as accurate as possible so I have here uh, 87.03 grams we're just going to call that 87 and like I said, uh, we're already zeroed it out with the weight of this, so we don't need to subtract the weight of the container. So we're going to take 87 times 2, 16, gives us 174. So that's pretty close. Uh, it's a little bit under the 175, 180, which is what, what we were aiming for. So technically, I would want to add a little bit of more dry clay or dry casting slip into here to try to get closer to that gold 175, 180. If you weigh it out and it weighs a lot more, you know, the 100 cc weighs a lot more than 175, 180. If it weighs 190 or whatever, that means you don't have enough water in it. So then you want to want to go ahead and add a tiny bit of water at a time and uh, keep re-weighing it until you get that goal of 175 to 180. So I hope that kind of clears things up of how to measure your specific gravity and how to reclaim some slip after casting.